Good evening, everybody. We hope uh, this video finds you well. Uh, we're here picking for the master tonight. We wish you were here with us, um, but due to the circumstances, we're not able to, but we weren't going to let that hold us down. We're going to make a, a short video with some bluegrass gospel songs and a quick devotional, and we hope you enjoy it. So uh, let's get started. A little bit of power in the blood. One, two, three. The next one we're going to do for you is an old favorite. Uh, uh, I really kind of learned it off the Andy Griffith Show. Uh, the name of it is Church in the Wildwood. Well, uh, wherever the church is you're connected with uh, may not be meeting in the Wildwood or in the uh, downtown or whatever, but hopefully you're still connected with believers, maybe online or in some fashion like that. So church is still church regardless of the... Um, the technology, so uh, listen as Brad does this old song, Church in the Wildwood. Thank you. 
Ben's going to come around and do another uh, old gospel song that talks about calling on the Lord in a time of crisis. And surely that's where we're at. Um, cry holy to the Lord. talks about not being a stranger anymore. I'm glad that I'm not a stranger anymore. Amen. And because I'm not a stranger anymore, I know who I'm walking with. And the next song that uh, me and my brother Andrew is going to sing together, uh, Just a Closer Walk With Thee. And it, it talks about no matter where you're at, what life's throwing at you. And life's throwing a lot at us right now. He's there with us. He's walking with us.
Thank you, Andrew. Thank you, Ben. Hey, um, before we do one last song, I wanted to share just a quick word to you. Um, you know, there's a verse in Romans in chapter 6 and verse 23. It's, uh, it's a verse that says, the wages of sin is death. And, you know, as human beings, honestly, that's what we all deserve. Uh, none of us are, are righteous. None of us can through our own effort, um, make ourselves pleasing to God. Uh, there's, there's an unrighteous, the wages of sin is death, but I'm so glad the verse doesn't end there. It goes on to say, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. You might be wondering, Ben, Andrew, how do you uh, have that walk with the Lord? How do you have a, a close walk? Well, you start by just making sure that you've trusted him as your Lord and Savior. And uh, in these uh, times, it's so important to know that, uh, that you have a friend walking with you. Now, God cares about you. He cares about everything that you're going through. He cares about the uncertainty that you're facing. But he especially cares for those who have placed their faith and trust in him and so if you've never trusted him as your savior, I'd invite you uh, just to receive that gift that he offers. The gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. The gift is one that's not received by reaching out your hands and taking a Christmas present where you would unwrap it and dig into it. No, it's, it's received simply by opening your heart and accepting what Jesus did for you. And what did he do for you? Uh, well, your sin deserved to be punished. My sin deserved to be punished. And on the cross, Jesus took that sin punishment for us. He took our place. Uh, he took the punishment that we deserved. 
And because he paid that price, that price is no longer placed on us, but rather Jesus took it for us. And then three days later, he came out of the grave alive, victorious even over death. The last song that we're going to do is uh, an old gospel song that, uh, uh, that reminds me in these difficult days that, that what we need to do certainly is, is turn to the Lord. And uh, I'm going to hand it back over to Ben for a second. Instead of picking up my banjo, I'm going to grab my guitar to do this last one. We hope you've enjoyed this. Um, we wish we could have had picking for the master just like normal, but uh, we didn't want to just let it go. We wanted to send something out to you, to each and every one of you where you're at. Like I said, we hope, we hope this is, uh, we hope you get a blessing from this. We hope you enjoy it. And we'll let dad end us out on this one.